Washington has been more than 70 years since the end of World War II, but for one veteran, a flight of a lifetime brought memories of the war flooding back. ABC6 News reporter Logan Reichstad has more. It's a sound that's hard to forget. The sound of a World War II bomber overhead. Yeah, it's been many years since 1942. The last time I flew with a B-25. But on Saturday, nearly 75 years later, Ted Lyric is back on board. Iwo Jima, Okinawa, Guam, Saipan, Tinian. Getting another ride on one of the planes he kept running for four years. Good. Ted's journey on Miss Mitchell is part of the Minnesota Commemorative Air Force's Living History Flight Experience, letting people see what it's like to be up in the air inside a piece of history. It's indescribable. It's, it's just an honor to be able to do this and to have a small glimpse of what these people sacrificed for our country. Jonica Boldick has been flying these planes for 10 years and though he was never in the Air Force himself, he loves being able to give back to those who served. These were 19 year old kids who had never left the small town they grew up in. They found themselves halfway around the world sleeping in tents. It was 100 degrees at night, getting shot at every day. But for Ted, as the world changes, some things remain the same. I just like old times, except <laughs> the guns will be silent. In Rochester, Logan Reichstead, ABC 6 News.